next year I will be 50 and my son Sam will be 10. I wanted a specific milestone to mark this occasion of our 50 and 10. So we talked and explored for several years. And this year we started saying, we are going. Next summer, we will honor our 50 and 10 by hiking the Camino de Santiago across northern Spain. Our 50 and 10 will be a 500 mile hike, our pilgrimage, our adventure, our milestone. We will join thousands of people who hike each year for as many different reasons as there are people. But what is our reason? Originally, I was pulled by books and movies toward a deeply spiritual journey and a metaphor for life. And then I wanted Sam to see Europe, to meet people from other places. I did not want this to be rushed. I wanted him to experience life where neither of us have control, but it's relatively safe and provides a lifetime of memories. And as we started to speak the reality of our Camino out loud, it started to take on a life of its own. People wanted to know more. And it got me to thinking about how we all long to share adventure. I wanted our experience to spark adventures in others. You know, anyone can take a trip or have some sort of adventure. Right now, I'm going to invite you to think of that adventure that's tugging at your heart. And what are the obstacles that hold you back from heading down that path? This summer has been a unique gift of preparation because we've been in Lakeside, Ohio all this season, where I have worked and painted a lot, as you can tell from the slideshow, and Sam has had the unusual opportunity of being a free-range kid most of the summer. Now, you might be wondering how you talk a nine-year-old into taking a 500-mile hike. <laughs> the short answer is you probably can't. But we live our lives um, calling lots of really ordinary things adventures. And his school has conditioned him to be outside in all kinds of weather. And we already know from this summer that he's going to miss his dad and his cat a lot. He wanted you to know this and also to know that it's 50 and 10, not just 50. <laughs> <laughs> so we spend a lot of time reading guidebooks together, which is really just an extension of the thousands of hours that we've already spent reading in his life. So if you want to plan a really big adventure with a child, Make it a continuation of the life and the relationship that you already have. This summer, we've made art in tandem. We've enjoyed our time together and been annoyed and frustrated with each other. We've learned to live in other people's houses, to be flexible, to live outside our routines, and to grow and grow and grow some more. We love to hike and walk in the woods, and Sam has a great ability to show me the beauty in nature almost every single day. So next spring, we're going to start training as if we're going to do a half marathon with backpacks on. Because basically, we'll do a half marathon every day for 40 days. We've received lots of advice and help and support from online communities of pilgrims and hikers and parents. And now we want to embrace and expand that circle of fellow adventurers right here who connect with our spirit and inspiration. I have learned to speak out loud the deep longings of my heart as they are never manifest in silence. I intend to maintain health to create amazing abundance, and to inspire fellow adventurers. I intend for my son to be resilient and know he can achieve anything when he plans and works for it. I intend that he will encounter our common humanity, that thread that connects us all. And for you, what adventure is waiting? 
Think about this for a moment and then go ahead in a whisper or a shout. Say it out loud right now. I want to hold this space for you, for your intention, because my intention for you is that you'll embrace that adventure, no matter how big or small it may be. And by all means, tell us your story. I want and need to hear your adventure story. Sam is here this evening. He's one of the youngest Pecha Kucha audience members tonight. And he isn't big on talking to strangers, and he might leave before we're done. We'll have to see. But if he's still here, take some time to check him out, too. We would be so honored if you would join our circle of support. You can find us on Facebook at 50 and 10, or at our new blog, 50and10.com. If you join our email list, we'll invite you to hike with us and share art adventures and do all kinds of other amazing things right here, probably not too far away. And so I want to leave you with the words of artist Lee Stanley. Go, oh go, go out and see the world. And wherever you go, be brave. And whomever you meet, be kind. And whatever you have, do good.